Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So today is our bonus video of our Teacher Appreciation Week and we are putting together some cards for each one of the teachers. This is a combination of elements that have been done in Cricut Design Space and cut out on our Maker 3 and our Joy, as well as some ink blending um, elements that I wanted to show you. So before we get into the actual card making, or actually we're putting them together, I've prepped quite a bit so that we're not here all day. I just wanted to share with you the supplies that we're gonna do, and then I wanna also take you into design space and show you just some of the overall features of these really fast before we get to assembly. So the supplies that I'm using today to complete the cards is I did bring in my mini MISTI that will help with holding cards down so I can get placements correct. I have the um, Tim Holtz Distressed, Distressed Ink Cubes and so I'll be using some of these on a couple of the cards and in addition to the Distressed Ink um, I have some blending brushes. I have acrylic blocks to help with some of the elements that might need to be um, adhered for a moment. We have some sequins and dewdrops. We have a variety of adhesives. Okay, and then of course I've got things like tweezers and scissors. And um, I have it in case I need it, a uh, tape measure just in case. I also have this mat here, which does have grid lines and measurements on it. All right, so that's the all the supplies, which I will have those linked down below in the description. Now I wanna take you over to Design Space, and I wanna just show you the overall project so that you can get a feel for what each of these will look like when we're finished. So I just brought up the front of my Design Space, and this is basically um, a view of all of the cards that I'll be doing today. So the one that I'll be doing first is finishing out this one for our art teacher. Now I have actually already adhered these two A pluses onto this one. We've made that dimensional element already. Um, and you can see where I've already put in the rainbow strips of paper. I'll talk about all of that in just a moment. The, we have this here, a honeycomb design, which behind it, I will be ink blending a um, kind of blue and green tones behind that. And then we'll be stacking the A pluses and the teacher. Um, so that will give us dimension for this one, which is for our science teacher. We have another one for our English teacher, similar to the art one, but this is going to have um, strips of paper behind here. They're not quite rainbow order. Uh, they're more of a purple and pink tones and we'll be stacking the A's for dimension. We have one here for our Bible teacher and this will be an ink blending card and I've actually already mounted all of the one amazings onto their offset. We have one for our math teacher right here this will be, I love this one actually, it's very art deco and very, just very elegant actually. It wasn't really what I originally intended, but it just kind of came out of nowhere. So we'll have a front design of this uh, circle lattice going on with a red stripe with cardstock and then some of these other elements on top. And all of it will be on top of a black border. We have these two down here. Now, these two are mostly done as well. I have already put together these two fronts. We have a few little elements to add to this one. It was an ink blended card, and so was this one. And I did some unique things with this one that I'm really excited to show you. So we'll have a total of, when we're finished, one, two, three, four ink blended cards and one, two, three paper pieced cards. Okay, let's go back to our overhead camera and go ahead and get started. Okay, the first card that I want to finish is the one for the art teacher. So let me walk you through what I have done so far. This is an A2 size card base, which I have already put my signature on the back using my Joy. And this white card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. 
And then I have the pink cardstock, which is four by five and a quarter. And I have under or on top of that, I have some white sticker cardstock. It's from Cricut, and it's really actually a wonderful product. Um, let me grab that and show it you a small piece. Okay, so this is a piece of the sticker cardstock. And basically, it is it has a grid on the back, much like vinyl. This peels off to reveal a sticky surface. And then this is just cardstock on the front. So in this design, I grabbed all of my scraps and started going through them to pull out some rainbow um, strips. All of these strips are about a quarter of an inch, roughly. They're not all perfectly sized exactly together, but I cut out this design. Now this particular white portion is um, three and three quarters by five. This is the negative space that I pulled out and you can just see how it's very sticky on this side. And I think I'm going to save this for another card. So that's really awesome that I'll get a two for one. And what I did is I turned this white piece completely over and I just started piecing the colored card scraps or the cardstock scraps onto the back of that. And then I adhered the whole thing onto the pink cardstock. And then finally, I placed each one of the letters from the teacher. Now that was done using my mini Misty and it helped me be able to, um, I placed my ruler across here and got it all lined up. So the only thing left to do on this particular card is to adhere this three dimensional element. And it's not really, really thick, but you can kind of see the dimension. So this is three pieces of white cardstock with the A plus plus the pink offset behind that. And we're just going to place that here. So I'm just going to grab these little foam adhesive dots and we're gonna go ahead and get that placed. And that will be the end of that particular card. I think this is so fun. My, I showed my daughter yesterday and she really was very excited about that. Okay, we've got all of the dots up, and now we're going to just place that on there. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so I'll just press that down. All right, and we have one card completed. So this is our first card, and you can see the dimensional element. This is super exciting. Okay, so art teacher is done. I'm gonna put that down in this protective sleeve. And I like to use these until I'm ready to give the card to the recipient or stick it in the mail. And these are just a two size card sleeves that I get at Michael's. And I think it's like $2.99 for 50. And I always have some sort of Michael's coupon. And of course I have my teacher discount. So that makes them very affordable. All right, one card down, six more to go. Okay, so this next card is actually the first one that I put together, and I'm very excited to finish this one. So let's talk about what we have here. We have an A2 size card base in white with the name signature already on the back. And then I have two yellow card stocks here that I'm gonna cut down that I want to frame this panel with. Now, this particular little card panel front here was done with some ink blending. And I started here with yellow and I went down to red. And let's see, I know that I used, let's see, I used scattered straw. Then I used wild honey and I used, I believe I used fired brick or maybe I used crackling campfire. So basically I just used three of these ink blending cubes 
and I put these together and got this gradient background, which I just think is super awesome and sunny. And then this particular teacher portion is indeed uh, from, the, we, I got this out of Design Space and it is indeed the sticker cardstock. So that's what that is. This is the word awesome and I just cut that out with my joy. I actually cut three of them, stacked them on top of each other and the top layer is just regular gl glittery cardstock. So it's not um, embossed but it gives that embossed look even though I did not use my embossing powder. So I'm going to stick these back in here and let's get this card finished. So the first thing we have to decide is which one of these looks the best. So I'm going to place this here. Okay. And then, all right. So this will go on top like that. And that kind of all blends in. And then I have this one. It's a little more sunny. And it looks like this. Oh, this is so hard. The more I think about it, I think I actually might go with this one here. Okay, so we're going to get this cut and get everything onto the card panel. So A2 card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to cut this particular panel down to Instead of five and a half, we will do five and a quarter. And instead of four and a quarter, we will do four. That border looks fairly even. Now that means that we are going to have to, we're going to have to take off a little bit here and a little bit up top. All right. And then finally, we'll have this guy here. Now, what I really like about my Misty is that I can just pop that in this corner right here. The top of my card doesn't move. And then this, we've got an even border there and there. Okay, okay. so I think that's good. All right. Well, we are going to turn the panel over and I'm just going to use tape runner for the back. Okay, and then, yes, look, that is so good and I'm really glad I chose that color instead of this one. Okay, now for the fun part, thinking, I don't want to distract from the overall card. And while I really like these and they're fun, I think just a few of these little iridescent ones, you can see the background and it doesn't distract from the glitter of the word awesome. So I think we're going to get a few of these. Let's see, let me pull out a few of those. What do you think? Okay, I think we're going to go with that. So we need some glue. Okay, and one more over here. I do like being able to pick up these tiny little elements. Okay, look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. I love it. We have two cards down and five more to go. So I think the next one that I want to do is going to be the one for our athletic coach. Okay, so I tried out a couple of interesting things on this one. Let me move this cardstock out of the way. Okay, so I again have the A2 card base with the signature on the back. And I'm going to place that right down here in the Misty. 
Okay. Now, on this card in particular, I have an offset, and I have the word awesome, and these were individually pieced on here. There's actually, there is a white layer underneath, so you can kind of see a little bit of dimension, but not too much. Um, then I have this design here. This is very similar to the other one that we're going to ink, or paper piece in a little bit. But this is ink blending, and I took four of the Tim Holtz Distressed Inks, and I just have, let's see, I used I used the Modlon, and then I used the Salty Ocean, the Speckled Egg, and the Weathered Wood, and used these to do like a gradient blending, and it is really, and it, it almost has an iridescent sheen to it, even though it's not. It just, well, it, that's what it looks like to me. So then for some interesting design, I literally just took my sewing pinking shears and I cut along there. So this is going to go in here just like this. Okay. And it's going to be raised up with some foam dots, but I'm also going to have these underneath. So we're going to be placing these pieces like this. I think they're, we're going to make sure they're going the right way, but they're going to be like that. And I just thought that would tie everything together. And again, these are just, some of these elements are just paper scraps. They, I just grabbed my scrap bin and Okay, so we're going to place this up here, and then we're going to place this down here. So I think I'm going to put that at three quarters, and then I may turn, <clears throat> I may turn my misty around and do three quarters up there, or I may just do it this way, put that in the middle. We'll do that at three quarters down here and three quarters right there. And it just lines up with these grid lines, so that's perfect. Very good. Okay. And that little bit of tape runner, well, I got it off, but even if I hadn't, it would be covered up with this guy right here. Okay. So I think that is going to go right here, and I'm, I have some, this was kind of sticky down here, so I didn't want it to stick to everything in the, so the question then is, do we raise it up? I think we do. We're going to go ahead and raise this up here just a little bit, okay. so we have the pop dots on there and then I am actually at the end of this particular sheet so instead of using like my foam tape rolls that I have I decided to go ahead and you these are sticky so I just cut those pieces and put them there it'll still give me that three-dimensional element okay so we're gonna get this onto this card base and then this card will also be finished. Put that there. Okay. So this entire white panel is a little over four and a half. So I'm gonna do about a half inch All right, so I've also learned not to push down right away on things until you are sure of their placement. Okay, third card is done, and you can see we've got some three-dimensional elements, and 
this is just a really nice simple card. Okay, so this one is done. So let's talk about the design of this card. We have an A2 card base, again with the signature on the back, and again, top folding. So I think actually, except for, except for this one, I think all of the cards are top folding. I just really like top folding cards. You can always make, you know, they stand up so pretty and you can just stare at them. Okay, so we have an A2 card base. I'm gonna set that aside. I have a just a panel of card stock here. I'm going to do some ink blending. Then when we pull this off like this, it'll go like this. A couple things are gonna happen. Number one, I'll have this to go on top of the card panel. And then I will have all of these, which I can use for another card. So that makes two designs that we were able to get two cards out of one. Okay, so for the ink blending, we have Mermaid Lagoon, Salty Ocean, Speckled Egg, Peacock Feathers, and then this is Evergreen Bow. So I think that I'm just going to get started. in seedless preserve and this is just gorgeous this goodness this is just gorgeous and it, I think it gives it another dimension and the more I blend the more these colors just meld together okay this is absolute now I know why people are obsessed with ink blending, because this is amazing. Why would anyone ever want to buy patterned paper when you can just make your own background? All right, I think I'm going to call that good, and I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes before we put this over it. All right, this paper is so gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to remove the sticker cardstock. Let me just pull it off. Okay, so all ink blended and now I'm just going to place this down like this and press this all into place. And okay, and I'm actually going to use my brayer and brayer that down really well. And then I'm going to, I'm just gonna trim this out. I'm just gonna grab my scissors and I think I'm just gonna fussy cut that with my scissors. Or actually, I may just trim off, this was, I may just trim out the edge and let it have a border. Okay, so we might actually be doing that instead, is leave this little bit of a border all the way around. We have ink blended this panel, and we have placed that hexagon um, grid, the sticker card stock on top and trimmed it down. So um, the next thing to do is to add all of the decorative elements. So I'm gonna bring back in my mini misty i'm gonna put this in the corner just like that okay and then let's see in fact actually let me i'm going to be using my magnet for something else so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a piece of washi tape on the back just to kind of keep this in place so i'm going to put this down here, another one of the three-dimensional elements with the offset and a triple stack of the A's. And have this ready to go. 
And something I did um, before I before I go to a new sheet of three dimensional dots, I actually on um, pieces like this where it's a big solid space, I have gotten where I will cut these apart and use these as well. It's a great way to stretch your craft supplies and it helps add the support and dimension that you need. So I have this ready to go and it's just going to go somewhere like right up here. And then I saved the paper that we cut out the word teacher from and I saved this so that I could literally just put it here and line it up with the with the hexagon grid and kind of center it you know like this and the reason why I want to do this is so that I can use it to place all of these letters okay so in this little baggie here I have well I'll grab those in a minute but what I have are all of the letters. And so my idea is that I would put the glue inside these spaces without getting it on the black. And then I could just stick the letter back into its original place. And then when finished, I would be able to pull up the black and the letters would be stuck in the place where they needed to be. They're perfectly spaced and they're in the right um, orientation, etc. So we're going to give that a go. So I think that I really, I like that. I like that I can see all of the colors. I can see the gradient. Okay, so I'll put that over there for now. Let's get building the teacher name. I am, I'm going to speed the video up for you. But basically, I'm going to take all of these letters and I am going to sort them and be able to put them in their perspective places. have one layer of letters down the rest will go in nice and easy and I'll be able just to place them on top of the other which is kind of what I do here is I always place the first one onto the offset and then I place the next two layers on top of the one that I just glued down so I'm trying that same technique here I just wanted to have this to help me have a placement guide Okay, so we've got all three layers of the word teacher adhered down to the front of our card. I'm going to go ahead and put this acrylic block on top, and I'm just going to let that just kind of hang out. And while that is hanging out, we're going to put this particular piece on the top. I think right there, put that down. Okay, and then the only thing to do now is to put that on our card base. So we now have, I believe this is card number four is completed. That looks really good. The next thing that we're going to do is we have another ink blending one to do. We have in two that will be paper pieced. Let's do let's do a paper and then an ink blend and then a final paper. Now this card is for our English teacher. Okay, we have the card base, the A2 card base with the signature. All good. And then we have this here. The teacher in the middle is definitely going to be coming off and going away just like this one here where I placed the colored pieces of paper behind 
that was kind of my thinking on this one. So we pull this off and then you can see right here that it has the word teacher. I'm going to place this down in my MISTI, down in this corner. And I'm going to grab the carrier sheet, put it back on top there, put this in that way I have I have access to the sticky pieces that I need, but I can put my magnet down. So earlier in the video, during the middle of the last card, we got a phone call from our soldier and he was definitely, he pulled a belated April Fool's joke. Not really funny, if you ask me, but it was, I guess it's funny now that we're over ourselves. Um, he thought that it would be funny to, they were working on some airplanes, I guess. And so he sent me a picture and said, hey, do you remember how I said I wasn't going out anytime soon? He's like, well, plans have changed. So he proceeded to make me think that he was getting shipped out. And at first I believed him. I was so gullible. And then I remembered that, you know, he's kind of a jokester. So I, that's what I did. I called him on it and I said, hey, are you sure it's not an April Fool's joke? Because that was several weeks ago and you're behind. So he had me going for about a good 10 minutes. And then, of course, nah, mom, I'm just kidding. What a stinker. At least he's got a good sense of humor. But it was really good to hear from him. So if any of you are army mamas, or actually just any kind of military mama, um, know that, sister, I am in your corner. Love my boy, but he is definitely a jokester. Okay, so now it looks like this. A little bit of purple, a little bit of pink. Let's get out some ink blending tools. So this one is Spun Sugar, and it's a very light pink. It's not, it's not really very dark, which is totally fine. So I think what I'm going to do, I want more of that blended ink to show. So I'm going to let that just hang out for a second. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put, well, I think that, like I want this here, so we would need to trim off a little bit up here and then I think I'm going to come in a little bit here and that way we'll see more of the blended ink pattern so here's what we got we have the card base this will go on top of the card base and this will go on top of there we're going to put this down in our misty and I'm just going to go like that just to kind of keep it in the corner and have it not come out. And then this is going to go on here. So let's take the back off for the final time. I'm going to use a little bit of glue here along the bottom because there is less stick going on there. So now 
the job is to position and then we'll press all of that down. You can always use your brayer too to make sure it's really adhered really well. Okay. All right, I think that's great. And I love that we can see the background. That is just really gorgeous. Okay, so I think that's about right. And it's a matter of vertical placement. Okay. All right, that looks fantastic. This one, I think I'm just going to use my liquid glue on this one. And I think horizontally that is good. These little doodads here that were out on my table. I'm thinking I might add these here. Just kind of let them let them hang out on the card. Here we go. Okay, I think this card is now done. All right. That looks really good. Two more cards to go. Okay, so we are on to card number six. This is the one that has that Art Deco look to it. So I am going to be placing this particular design on top of all of these elements here. And then we will do the same paper piecing with the teacher letters. And then we have this at the top. And this has already been um, put together. So this is an offset and three layers of the one amazing. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for right now. Here are my letters, just like before. Okay, and so what I want to do first is we have our card base, our A2 card base. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've cut down some black cardstock, and this is uh, four by five and a quarter. And so all I'm going to do is give it a light smear of glue, and we're going to get this down. Um, we want this to be as even as possible. Okay. All right, so we have this piece here. Then I have a white piece that I'm going to do kind of like an offset where it'll be a little bit more on this side than this side. And then I'm going to be placing this here, kind of again, a more like an offset. And then we'll be placing the design on top. So we're going to do a light coat and the white and red are also at five and a quarter, but I think, let's see. So that would give it a quarter inch on that side. All right, so I think I'm going to go with that placement right here. Okay. And then we will do the same thing with this red. I love this red. It is so striking, especially with the black and the white. Okay, so we've got a little bit of black, a little bit of white. And then we will have our red. Okay. All right, so the next piece will be this design. And again, sticker cardstock. 
have actually a pretty good supply of it, so I'm trying to incorporate that into some of my crafts. And then I'm left with this particular negative space here, and I'm going to use that for something else that I don't know for what. So I'm going to line this up along the bottom edge and along the side edge. There's like a tiny little spot, but I think it's working itself out. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be placing the one amazing and then we need teacher. So I think that I want teacher. We're going to line this up with the top of these circles here and then the one amazing I think I'll put here with this like in the middle of that so let's go ahead and do that piece first might have to put some foam tape on there is what we might need to be doing yes in fact let's go ahead and do that and That will go on top like so. I think while I'm working on that top area, we'll just set that there, give it a little more pressure. Definitely, that's a good spot. So I think I'll put that right there. Okay, hopefully this will work out as nicely as it did on the first one. Okay, so just like on the first one, these are all in place. Just keep building. Actually, I'm going to do that. That's going to be not only a magnet, but that'll hold that down as well. Okay, so let's get the rest of these on here, and then we will get on with our last card. Okay, we are done with this up. Uh, sixth card and I actually think this came out really really great you've got dimension from the one amazing you've got some lift from the teacher dimension throughout here just really classy I think this looks great okay well now we are done with six cards and we are on to our final card before we take a look at all of them together so our last card, let's talk about this one. So we have our A2 card base all ready to go. And then we have our final panel of sticker card stock. And the outer border will just come off like on the other ones. And I think, well, we've got two options and I'm trying to decide which of the two I want to do. So basically we're going to pull up the um, big part of this panel and the butterflies and the word teacher will be left behind and so there will be an open space. And what I thought would be really, really cute is to have an ink blended portion behind and that we will have above all that we will have this one amazing let's set aside our card base so we're going to need to do some ink blending first and then decide how we're going to put this card together okay so i have a card panel here so that we can do some blending and i think that i am again going to start with the spun sugar and then pick, pickled red or picked raspberry, shaded lilac, and evergreen bough. Here 
is our ink blended panel. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down just a little okay. bit. So we have this here. I think that looks really good. And that is going to go on top of our card base. Let's get this going. All right. So we have our card base, our magnet. We're going to give it. Okay. Okay. So now that I am putting this, pulling this out, I just had a thought. What if we don't use the whole panel? What if we use this particular piece of it instead of it showing through like this? What do we think? And then we could add a few more butterflies. So we're going to have one amazing right there. Here we could do a teacher. I'm going to place something down here because I, I don't want to go too far down. But I want it fairly even when I do place it down. Okay. Yeah, I really like that. I'm going to put this here for right now just to give it time to, you know, just kind of stick together. And then this is ready to go. Now, the only thing that really is missing is I have these three little, these three little eyes. Okay, so the dots, the tittles. I think I am going to do some more dimension. All right, let's get this piece on there. I think that's good right there. So, so far that's looking really, really good. I don't want to mess with the tiny little cardstock dots for my eye. So I'm going to use a dew drop and I'm going to use the small one. Okay. And that will clear, that will dry very clear. So that'll be fine. And then I think I am going to put some of the iridescent ones around. Okay, so I just think, like, we'll just have some in place around here. So let's go ahead and get these on there. There's one. I think that is good. So card number seven is done. I think that looks really good. Okay, so let's pull out all of the cards and take a look at our progress. We are done with all seven teacher cards. We have this ink blended panel with some paper piecing behind the cutout three-dimensional. So this is for our English teacher. We have some more blended panel behind and a little bit of paper piecing. Okay, and a little bit of dimension. This is for our um, athletics teacher. The one we just got done doing. So we have our ink blended panel and then our cardstock sticker cut out some dimension here and then definitely some sparkle this one is for our bible teacher this one is for our math teacher i love the geometric elements the the um, art deco feel to it and we got dimension there as well 
also looking great. All right, for science, we have this one here. All right, same Art Deco ink blended panel. Love it. All right, so the art teacher, just regular cardstock behind this panel and the paper piecing here. I think this is so fun. This is this was so fun. In fact, I think this was the hardest card that we had so far. And then this first one here, the only one that is landscape. But I just love it. I think it is so great. Another ink blended panel and then, you know, the glitter card stock. Um, that's always an option if you don't have a, a heat embossing tool. I actually just got one, so I'm excited to use it. Okay, well, that's it for our bonus video. I hope that you found these cards um, inspiring and entertaining, maybe learn something new. I tried different techniques and really loved them, so I'm glad these worked out. So if you did like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the next time I post a video. We've got some great things coming up that I'm really excited about that'll be super fun. And um, don't forget that May uh, 6th through 10th is Teacher Appreciation Week. So um, pick up a card for your teacher. Better yet, make some cards for your teachers and let them know how much you appreciate them. And until I see you next time, enjoy an amazing cup of coffee and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.